So in this video, I'm going to share with you the three things that you're really going to need to know if you want to be a dominating force in the final expense telesales industry. It's so important that you're intentional in everything you do and everything you say when you're first starting off because your chance of success is roughly 10%. 90% of the agent force fails, and sometimes it's because they failed to find this out in the beginning, and now they're out of the industry. So thanks for joining with me. We're going to dive into the three things that you need to know before you take the dive and decide if this industry is even for you in the first place. So thanks for joining with me. My name is Jason. I'm your friend in the business, and I do partner with just powerful insurance agents, new as well as veterans in our national agency, selling life, Medicare, and annuities face-to-face, -face, but more importantly, in the telespace. So if you need any free resources or a good work family, you can always reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. So the first thing that you're going to need to understand with final expense telesales is that you need a good skill set. Number one, the most important thing for you winning is to have a winning set of skills. Skills are necessary to pay the bills with any industry. It doesn't matter if you're in the technology field, the Medicare insurance field, or any craft. You've got to get your teeth cut by having people that are near you that have done what you want to know. Skill set is so important to you finding success. This is why I see vet your trainer, vet your mentor. I've been in this industry a long time. I've done telesales combined with my insurance background over two plus decades, 20 plus years. And let me share with you, there are some folks out there that have never done telesales that are training you on it. They've got no background in this industry. It's very important that you're intentional about who you decide to partner with. Partnerships are powerful. Do they possess the skills needed for you to be able to hopefully find success and pay your own bills, right? Vet your trainer, vet your trainer, vet your trainer. Make sure they have the skill set. Ask whoever your potential mentor is. Ask them how many years have you done telesales? How many people have you personally trained? What was your best six months in the industry? Have you done telesales before the C word? How many people have you sold over the phone? Talk to them about their tenure. This may take you far, or you may find out some things that you want to find out on the front side. They don't possess the skills, crud. Also make sure that if they have the skills, that they've got people that they've trained and coached and honed and helped to find success. It's powerfully important that you have a mentor that has made it. Mentorship is powerful, my friends, because if they've got the skill set and they're willing to mentor you, they've got to make time for you. This is very, very important when you're first starting off with final expense telesales. It is tragic when I see agents that have to book a Calendly appointment to talk to somebody. Minutes matter in telesales. You need to have an answer in minutes if you're on that phone call or you're going to lose money. You're going to bleed out so much money, my friends. It's a dangerous playground when you can't get your upline on the phone or the manager or whoever they got, okay, that's supposedly your trainer. Make sure you've got a good skill set so that they can have this good transfer to you in final expense telesales. It's tragic when you need an answer and you can't get one. That's not a healthy way to find health and happiness and hopefully wealth in this industry. There's a ton of six-figure income earners in this space, but yet 90% fail because they don't partner right. Partnership is very important, and I've seen a lot of agents that have to kiss a lot of frogs before they find a prince that they like. It's important, all right? You got to have a team, but you got to have a team that knows how to take care of you in the skills. That's why in our agency, we have a five-day telemastery program, and I'll put a link up here in the description, some videos you can watch, but we have a five-day telemastery program where we do it right or we do it again. We really value training so that you can translate the business in the best way possible. It's painful to do something new, just like if you were trying to be an electrician, go ahead and try it on your own. You're going to kill yourself, right? It's not going to be good. You're going to touch the wrong set of wires, and bzz, now you're done. You didn't earn the wealth. This is tragic. A lot of people that are face-to-face -face agencies are kind of dipping their toe into telesales, and they're going to try to tell you how to do telesales when they've never been up there. Uh, I don't think so. That's a recipe for disaster. So if you have good skill set, from a good mentor that's made it, he or she is going to be able to help save you pain because they've done things the wrong way. Mentors aren't perfect, but they're going to make a way for you because they know what the path looks like to profitability. They know what the painful things that you're going to experience are going to look like so that they can save you that heartache. It happens. You're going to get told, no, not right now. Mail it to me. All these crazy things. You're going to get ghosted. You're going to get told, I'm going to buy from you tomorrow. 
Tomorrow is going to take your success away. So have a mentor that's made some mistakes that can share life to you in this life insurance industry. Final expense telesales is awesome, but number one is your skill set. All right, if you're taking notes, very important to you having a chance of making wealth. Skill set, skill set, skill set. Anyone handing you a free script, be careful. All right. Number two, the most important thing is your will set. I can't train tall in basketball. You've got to have a good will set if you want to make the wealth. This is a very dangerous playground because you're going to get told no a lot. I mean, a lot. You're going to get told no way, 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 way more than you ever get told yes. And if you think this is some get rich quick scheme in this industry, it's not. It looks like hard work. So you've got to have a strong set of will. I will do this. I will do this. I will get on the phone. I will, okay, work every day like I'm going to go broke. I will train. I will show up to training. Those that train translate the business in an easier way, even though the business is not easy. This is why it's so important to have a good mentor, vet your trainer, and now apply skill set, apply skill set, apply skill set, apply skill set. Now you've got to have the will to do it. You know what you need to do, but are you doing it? Top 8% in the nation agents do this. They train, they train, they train, and they stay sharp. Just like the a razor at your barber shop is going to get dull if he doesn't strop it, right? You got to constantly be sharpening yourself to sell more policies. The moment that we get sloppy, my friends, we're done and over with. But number two is very critical. Your will set to win. Your will. Do you want this? It's not thinking about it. I want to find success. Well, do you really or do you not? Your action will depict if you actually want to win and want to find wealth in this industry or not. Action, action, and action will fix your problems with final expense telesales. You're going to hone yourself by the people that you help. You're going to learn. You're going to learn from your mistakes. You're going to learn from your mentor's mistakes who's shared away with you because you don't want to learn the hard way. The last thing you want to do is buy a couple grand worth of leads, do it your way, and find out that you got kicked out of the industry for not knowing a couple simple things. The business is time-tested. It's a noble, old, old, old profession, but you're going to have to overcome objections. That's why you need to train very hard. That's why you need mentors to help have a chance of making the money. But your will set, you have to have a will to win. You can't say, oh, I want to be a full-time agent and not put in the full-time hours. You got to own it. Until you own where you want to go, you can't overcome a thing. Okay, Wishes are not going to make you wealth in this industry, but work will. You've got to have a deep will in you to thrive and survive in this space. Do you have it within you? Do you have a will to win? That's important, my friends. Number two is having a will set to find success. Number three is you've got to be disciplined and disciplined and disciplined like you've never been disciplined in your life. Final expense telesales will take discipline, and you've got to understand that you're not going to always want to get on the phone. You're not always going to want to work, but warm, happy thoughts aren't going to pay your bills. Wishes are not going to put money in your bank account, but having this discipline within you, this drive to be able to succeed, to just call, call, call when sometimes you want to call it quits. It's going to happen. There's going to be times where you want to quit on yourself. If you want to find success, you've got to have persistence, but you've got to have discipline. Discipline is so important. Discipline to following the fundamentals of the skill set transfer that you've been given. Believe it or not, there's agents who have been tightly trained, tightly skilled, and then start getting sloppy. They're not disciplined. They, they won't work their leads, and then they wonder why they left the industry in shambles. It's because they didn't see enough people. Disciplined agents have the best chance of being dynamic, but you've got to work when your feelings want to maybe leave you in bed. That income reduction button on your alarm clock, don't say you want success if you're not starting when you – have dictated to yourself that you should. If you want to find success, you've got to be disciplined. Discipline, discipline, discipline is so important to final expense telesales. You can't get sloppy. You can't say you want full-time income and not have full-time output from yourself. You got to look yourself in the mirror and go, you know what? Do I like what I see right now? If I don't, I need to change it. Discipline is a tough pill to swallow, but the top powerful insurance agents in this industry, number three, have discipline like no other. They're determined. They know how to work when everybody else says, mm, I'm going to go sleep in today. I, I'm going to go play around with my CRM all day. No, the capitalized agents that are in final expense telesales are extremely driven. They've got a skill set like nobody else. They've trained like nobody else so that they can rise to the top like cream. 
and capitalize. A lot of people fall out of this industry because they failed to vet their trainer or they failed to vet their mentor, failed to have good partnerships to be powerful. And success isn't guaranteed. There's tremendous risk in this industry, but yet there is great reward. If you think you've got what it takes, reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. I appreciate you watching. And if you've got a topic you want me to take up, put it down in the comments. Love to help you with a video on that as well. Thanks for joining with me, my friends. You've got what it takes. Let everybody else do the soft things, and I hope you find success. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.